Good evening, everybody. This is Tammy from Singles Travel International joining together tonight for our joint meet and greet virtual session for both the single sailing adventure on the French Riviera and the singles French wine country cruise, uh, which is a river cruise. So we're going to be going over the details of both of these vacations that are just around the corner. And um, all of you have already received the final vacation details and meetup info for both of those trips. I'm going to be using those documents to walk us through tonight's event. And I would just open up tonight with um, the opportunity to ask a question if anybody has one right now before I get started. That will give me an idea of areas that we might have to focus. So uh, Marina or um, David or Robbie, does anybody have any specific questions at this point? And the only thing I've run into, I've looked at some of the things we have to fill out and um, using the COVID app tracking app, I don't think there's a way to actually put our um, vaccination certificate in there because it doesn't have QR code and that kind of stuff. So if there's a way to do that, I'd like to know how. Yes. So that's, and you know what, that is the number one question. So now we know how to update this for next time. The, but we, you, so what, we've asked everybody to download the um, Choose Anti-COVID app on your phone and it comes up with a phone, a, a, like a regular uh, picture, uh, like you're taking a picture on your phone to record a QR code. Well, the French vaccines have a QR code, ours do not. And that form that we asked everybody to fill out here that's called the um, French Health Pass. Once we are approved by the French government, they will send you an email with your French version of your vaccine. And then that French version is going to have the QR code. So you'll be able to scan that into the app. And so does that make sense now? <laughs> it, it makes sense. I'm sure it'll make even more sense when I actually fill the stuff out. Yes. Okay. So, so when you receive your confirmation from the French government, you will have an email with the QR code. And why do we want to upload that um, vaccine to the uh, TUS anti-COVID app? Because everywhere in France is requesting, once we're indoors, hotels, restaurants, sites, attractions, everybody in France has to produce a copy of their vaccine, proof of their vaccine, and they're all using the TUS anti-COVID app. The app you just hold up at the entrance of all the locations and they scan you and uh, you get a chance to uh, have entry after that. So, so uh, once you receive that email, you'll have the QR code and you'll be able to upload that to the app. The other question that came up was that I don't have that email back from the French government yet. Some of us applied for the Italian as well. There was a PLF uh, for those of us that are on the, uh, the sailing adventure. And that came immediately. So we got our QR codes right away. The French one is not going to be sending it to us until closer to departure. If you don't get it beforehand, I recommend that you print out that application. It comes in to pretty much one page on a PDF once it's all completed. And basically um, take that with you. So if you don't get that email with the QR code, at least when you land in France, you'll have proof that you completed the application. You also have a username and a password. So you're always able to log in if you needed to do that at some point when we get together, you'll be able to uh, log into your account. So be sure to save your usernames and passwords. So what I'm going to do is, um, thanks for that question, David. Does anybody else have another question? By the way, I did not receive a response until today. And I sent email and ask authorities to expedite. <laughs> there okay. Is, you, you can, if you open your um, you know, email. Uh, this confirmation, you can reply to this email okay. and they will receive the response. 
and also every day I am just printing the page that it's still in progress. Uh, and in case if they will not reply, I have uh, I'll take with me the uh, copies of the pages, which you know. Uh, like confirmation that you are waiting until the last day because when you are printing the page, you can see the date when it was printed. Okay, that, so that's I'm, why just, I'm, sure those I'm yes, going yes, into this, this for everybody to see while you're talking. Okay, so Marina is talking about this is the French Health Pass. Both trips require this application to be completed. I've already created an account, so I don't need to. I am, I'm, I'm just logging in and I'm able to click on show my submitted file. It's in progress and I did mine on September 7th. So um, I'm still waiting for that as well. And here you're able to print it. Um, let's do all the files so we can kind of see what it looks like. So there is, this is, um, well, it looks like it's two pages. So inside here, I had uploaded my, um, I put my schedule in there where I'm going to be uploaded, my flight information, a copy of my vaccine and um, applied. So mine is in progress too, but I will print this out myself so that I have it uh, when, the, when the trip begins. And now- The problem is that yeah. they have 30 days the, uh, we can wait 30 days until we receive the response and we don't have this time. That's why just in case I sent today email that my flight next week, could you please expedite just to have something, you know, with me before flight. Right. And here is the reply in mailbox that you are, yes. right? So you sent them a message to yes. say that you, yes, there you go. We did um, especially the same scenario was in play for Greece where we asked everybody to print it out, but they did get the emails in flight on their way to Greece. So um, bring this, bring a copy so that you have it. And um, that, that should be, that should be the flight. Mm -hmm. That's our process within 17 days. Mm -hmm. So we delivered it at 21 days to everybody. So um, some of us may get it and some of us may not. Yeah. Printed, printed. Within 30 days, they completed. That's why probably <laughs> we don't have enough time to wait, <laughs> you know? Right. It could be. So print it out. And it does clearly have, there's a file number on here. It tells when you applied for it. And, uh, and so please make sure to print that out. Any other, any other questions that came up? Okay, great guys. Well then I'm just going to go through uh, the checklist once again, just to maybe see if anything jogs your memory. Um, so with both trips, you need a passport that's valid for six months from your return date. So if you're going on the river cruise, then that means you, you want that to be uh, valid up until the 21st of, um, whatever December, January, February, April, 21st of April of 22. And for the, uh, French Riviera, it would be the 10th of April of 2022. So sometimes people think their passport um, is good until the day that expires. Most countries require three or six months. This is really the requirement of the country we're going into. So make sure that you have that. Um, I'm gonna skip over number two, that's the vaccination certificate. We all have that. Um, that's mandatory to travel on both of the cruises on which we're, uh, we're departing. Round trip airline ticket, you'll need your travel insurance certificate. Uh, we have asked you to submit your travel insurance and your vaccine 
and card if you're on the French Riviera cruise. And I know that um, almost everybody has done that. So if you uh, have not completed any of these forms, Kimberly and our team will reach out and, and ask you for those missing pieces. David, I know I do need your, I, you submitted your flight information, so that's great. I can go ahead and book your transfer now. So I, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Perfect. And then um, I, I usually purchase trip insurance, but I vaguely recall you just weren't able to do it when I booked this trip originally. So I, I assume that I need to actually now go out and buy trip insurance. Okay, well, yes, I'm, I'm able to send you a quote or you may do your own. There's um, just a, a minimum of 50,000 in medical insurance coverage that you want to obtain regardless of where you get it. Right, right. If you could send me a quote, that'd be great. And sure. yeah. And as you said, probably add on the, make sure it also covers, um, you know, if I get quarantined, which God forbid, but if I do, it'd be good to have that covered. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I think it sounds like you had all your bases covered too. Um, we had a nice conversation about um, how we were going to take the test on the way home, which is going to be covered by the cruise lines, but uh, not a bad idea. And the insurance is mandatory. So uh, the French government, now they may not ask us for any of these documents when we enter, but they may. So um, they'll probably ask for the proof of COVID. Yes, they're definitely going to ask for that. Yes. Um, and then the complete, uh, the fit and willing to travel commitment. If you haven't filled that out, we have a link here. This is really our way of trying to um, make this vacation amazing. Um, so we're asking for some detailed information about your, your travel, but we also want to know a little bit more about you. Of course, if you have any special requirements or needs, this is a great, this is the place where you would do all that. So you just click on the link, it's a, it's a Google form, and go through the questions and answers here to, uh, to fill that out. Uh, we have a trip drop down here. So the next two on the list are the single sailing adventure French Riviera and the French wine country singles cruise. So to, choose the appropriate one and then just follow the steps. Um, it's very easy to, to fill out. And we do require that everybody do this uh, because first of all, we need the information. We want to be able to make the vacation um, just is, is specifically designed for you as we possibly can. Um, our vision here at STI is um, changing lives through traveling the world together. So we wanna find opportunities to do that. And your concierge by reading these forms and understanding a little bit more about you sometimes is able to pull off something that they might never be able to do if they didn't know some special pieces of information about you. So please be open as, as possible and uh, and and fill and when you're filling out this form. I'm just going to uh, take a minute. I just got a text from somebody who is trying to get into the meeting. And if you would just give me a minute, I want to um, give them an opportunity. I'm gonna send them the link. So let's see, give me one second here. Okay, great, thanks for that little pause. So back up to uh, the checklist, then the other piece of documentation for both trips is the French attestation form. And that's simply a one page statement that is on a website. I'm going to take you there on the link. Again, the numbers are matching six and seven. So you click here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, as it says in the directions. And here is the English version, pop that open. 
and then go ahead and print it and uh, fill that out. You're going to bring this with you because, are you guys able to see that form or did it, um, is it still on the website? We can um, see the form. Yep, okay. I, I can see your Word um, document. Yeah, it popped on and popped off. Great. So I think I printed several times. It's very important to print the uh, orange, not green list, because USA right now on the orange. That's why when we will fill it, filled out, we, we need to be very careful with what we are printing. That's why from not green list, from orange. orange. Okay. So. Yeah. And what I did, I printed and the same form going back. I will sign when we will be, you know, on the way back and will take it with me. Uh, because you, when you will feel it's um, where you flying, for example, I'm flying from New York to Nice, no. or it's on the way back other, it will be from Nice to New York. That's why it's the difference only where you fly from. But I printed both and you have to take it with you during the flight. Okay, so where are you talking about orange or amber? I'm oh, or amber, no, you know, yes, amber, yes. No, that's okay, no problem. I they, thank you for that. So sworn from the amber list countries. Yes. So we are three, red, green, and orange, whatever, amber. Yes. I see, okay. Well, that looks orange on here too, to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say, Ravi? No, I just said it looks orange also when you passed it a while ago. It had the different colors. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. You can see. So, for, so for this, what do we put in for the final destination city country? Is um, Do we put in Marseille? for that because yeah we're... i would let's see okay so for that one is um i would put marseille france okay yeah and like marina said bring a couple of them although we're not leaving france but it's good to have um one of each i mean maybe i have two of each actually that yep. you know if i make a mistake i have it yeah i'll probably <laughs> save save it off on my phone as well, just so I can show it there. That's a great, that's a great idea. Yeah. But we need to have copies. You know, you cannot show just on your um, phone. It should be copies printed. That's, that's correct. He'll have both. I think I heard David say he'll have both. Mm -hmm. I tend to do both. It's just one of those things. If for some reason your copies are not available, but your phone is, you can probably print another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some countries that won't let you use the phone. You have to have the hard copy. So, sure. sure I'm just yeah. saying, you know, you can use it as a fallback to be able to print right. a new one. If you don't even have the doc, it's hard to do that. Right. That's right. Great. Okay. Wonderful. Thanks for that. Great information. Well, then heading back here to the next piece, which is the TUS anti-COVID app. Everybody goes to the app section in your phone. It's called TUS anti-COVID. It looks like this. This is the logo. So look for that in your app section and go ahead and download it. And of course, you can't really do much with it until you get your certificate from the French government. So uh, once we do, we'll be able to load those. Um, Next is the, the completed Italian passenger locator form. This is only for the guests on the signal sailing adventure. And so in this case, um, again, we have videos here embedded so that you're able to watch the video of me filling out the form um, in all of these cases to give you a little bit of an example. Things that I found quirky when I was doing it. One of the items is that um, they want to have all of the ports of disembarkation for the crews and not all of them are listed in the list. 
So in that case, the workaround is to choose other and then just type the name of the city in. Uh, that would be more than appropriate. Then also the region is Liguria. So those were two things that I discovered filling it out that I thought might challenge people while they were doing the same thing. So that I was able to receive a QR code immediately that came in my inbox within a few minutes. So you should be experiencing the same thing. If not, let, let us know. I did notice too that you're able to apply for more than one. So, and, and you are able to revise it. Let me show you that here today. Um, one of the members uh, was asking, and once you log in to your site, okay, let's see. So I'm going to log in. And my PLFs, does everybody see that? Yes. Here yes. is my PLF. So if I needed to change something on it, I am able to hit the edit button and then come on in and make any changes here and then just submit it again. There, they allow that. Um, so you can go ahead, you can remove ports, add ports, and then just go ahead and submit when you're done. And that'll update it. Um, somebody did have an issue with, they put something in by mistake, <laughs> so they had to change it. And uh, we learned that from a first hand experience. Italy is very good. They replied right away. With yeah. Yeah. yeah, very, very good. Then uh, providing a copy of your vaccine and your insurance card to us if you're on the single sailing adventure French Riviera. That is a, was the requirement of the Star Clipper group. So everybody has already submitted. That's we're in good shape there. For those of you on both Avalon and Star Clippers, they have a check-in. So here's the Star Clipper link. If you have time, go ahead and do that. Again, I do a video so you have um, a way to see how to do that. I ran into an issue while I was doing it and recording. So you had to see um, the place to resolve in case you have um, an issue yourself. It's pretty straightforward and simple. And um, I found that I was trying to change an address and that the system didn't like. So I was able to use the live chat and they helped me right away. I did have to do it manually via email to them, but uh, it, it worked out okay at the end. Now for the French Riviera, I mean, for the uh, river cruise with Avalon waterways, it's called My Avalon. And you definitely want to log in there and open up your account. Once you're logged in, you have to put your reservation number in. And with that information, um, if anybody needs that, just let us know. It would, have, uh, it would be in your um, app, in the Singles Travel International app. So let me show you that. You go to the website, log in. And it was also in one of the PDFs you sent us with all the details of the trip. Oh, great. Thanks. Okay. So what I'm going to show you here too, this is something that's, uh, that was launched last year. And whenever you make a vacation, you're going to see a little bit of the back end here. So give me a minute. It's going to... And with Zoom, the and all right now. Once you're uh, here, 
if you hover over your name and click on reservations and payments, that's where you'll see all of your reservations. And to click on view order down at the bottom, you will see your confirmation number, your cabin number, and your category. So that's another place for you whenever you have a reservation with us that's where you'll find your booking data. And tell me at the top where you had the script and we talked about it a couple of days ago. Mine doesn't have that anymore. I had to go to the bottom of the page for the event. It just disappeared and went to the bottom. It's right here at the top in the top. Yeah, but it's not on mine anymore. I can't get into this. I have to go down to the bottom. Okay, great. Just to let you know, I, I don't want to experience. interfere with the rest of this. So, um, okay, so back to the um, back to the the checklist here. Uh, we're at the very last section, which is to check in with the cruise line. And I want to say that with the Avalon Waterways um, check in. It's really important to book your excursions. There are excursions included every day. And so those are at no additional fee. They like you to check off what you're going to be doing, where your interest lies, so they have a sense of uh, what people will be doing on board. But they will operate those tours every day, whether you go in and, and choose it or not. Um, but there are also some ex uh, optional excursions. So if you want to, let's see, let me go here and what happened? Did I actually... will almost certainly do the Chateau um, de Neuf Papa um, trip, you know, optional tour. Yes. Okay, great. I did too. I signed up for that one. And one of the things that I wanted to do, David, was... Um, I want to uh, get everybody's excursions so that we we know I'll know when when there's free time uh, for the members in the group because I want to be planning some other things. So let me go ahead and put this in here. Get reservation and once in here, Uh, you're able to see all of the things that are available. And, and this is just taking a minute because second. Now, one of those forms showed you as the reservation contact. Should I change that or leave you as the reservation contact? Oh, um, you're able to put your own information in there if you want. Let me see. I maybe I don't know exactly what you're what you're saying. There's just one place in there. I don't remember which of these forms because I didn't fill. I haven't finished filling this all out. But one of them um, had a place where I need to fill in some information, but also had an email address for an information for reservation contact, and it had your. Um, email address. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're pro I'm, I'm not sure what section, but there's probably a section for you to put your own information in. And then it might be mine because I'm the booking agent. That could be what, what it is. So reservation communication, let's take a look there. Let me see if I can answer your question by Checking that. Okay. So this is the primary. Is this the area that you were talking about? David? I'm sorry, I need to unmute myself. Yeah, I think that was that form, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So that would be then for you to put yours in there. Um, Let's see, passenger registration. So that would be all of your personal information. Yep. Yeah. Here. So you've got all that information in there. So that would be all for you. Yeah, I would just say for you. 
put your own okay. information in there. Yeah. Sounds good. So then for excursions, they're all here too. I, I, I just, um, you know, found it a little bit, a little bit, um, I don't know, not, not confusing, but um, to purchase, you go in and you um, select them one by one, manage equals you get to see those that you've already um, booked. So if you sure. purchase, they give you a full list of all of the excursions and you're able to go by destination here on the left hand side or just scroll down and book you know book them one by one by spice so this one i definitely yep. i think everybody will do that one for sure so that's where you find the excursions again you see that there's i, I think the, for the majority are in the 65 70 dollar range yep and um of course, in this example, this is the one that's included. This is our tour that's going to be in Marseille. Um, Heart of Paris walk, that's part of our package for those of us that are going on to Paris and Paris City Highlights. So the Paris by Night is additional for 54 and that would be one that you may want to take advantage of. So that is the how to book the excursions. Easy once you have a little bit of a demo. A question? I think mine, when I did it, it was showing me everything in euros. So there's probably a way to switch it to US, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, you know what? I think there is. It doesn't really matter though. Oh, here it is, sort by, okay, price high and low. I did see that, manage support shop i recall seeing that view excursion let me do it in the excursion level it's a, it doesn't really matter okay okay because, well, i mean it's gonna i'm assuming they're going to just apply a conversion rate because eventually it gets charged to a credit card and it gets converted there if nowhere else yes yes um and it might be in the cart when you put it in the cart i know i saw it i definitely saw uh, yeah, one. yeah but let's, let's it is right there it says price and you have u.s dollars right but um that that's for sure you might have had euros and yours I'm sure mine, for some reason, wants to do euros, and that's okay. Okay, yeah, I, and I think you'll find it, but either way, if you can convert it, it's 1.2-ish, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wonderful. All right, well, let me go back to this. Um, I'll do this one here, because we're in the My Avalon, again, attending our event tonight. Uh, so that's the checklist of, um, Almost, let's see, this one has nine steps. The other one has 12. I was kind of calling it the 12-step program to get to France. Um, a little bit more than normal, but uh, I, I believe that we're all of the mindset that this is going to be worth it because we are world travelers and we want to get back out there. Um, let's talk for a minute about, I'm going to go down to the section uh, here for our return back to the, to the United States. David, I took your information literally and put that in here. Um, we will be given an opportunity to test for COVID um, and get that certificate within the 72 hour period of returning back to the United States. Even if we're doing the Paris add-on? Yes, and uh, they, they told me at Avalon Waterways that they'll do ours in Paris. Okay. So that's, that's, that's fine. I'll, I'll bring my kits anyway, but I'll do what they provide preferentially, I think. Yeah, me too. And I bought the kit based on this, um, you know, our chat. So I have it as well. But um, we we are just, we, we put this into the letter because David and I had a chat. He was, uh, he, he explained that he got these home kits and uh, I thought, well, it's not probably a bad idea to have a couple of those with me just in case there's some kind of interruption to what my scheduled plan happens to be. However, yeah. in both cases, we're going to be with the cruise companies. They're both offering the vaccine. Uh, the, I mean, the test for 
COVID, the one that's required for us to return home. Our Clippers is offering it um, on the second to last day, it'll be 10 euros. Uh, Avalon Waterways, second to the last day, it'll, it's complimentary. And for those of us going to Paris, they say it will be done in Paris so that we're right on time. So David was very nice to put the link into the chat. We also have it on our trip, our final vacation. Yep, page. the link I put in chat is a much shorter link. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid if I didn't make, if I made it too pretty, nobody would see it. So that's it. <laughs> but either way, guys. And then there, you know, he bought a six pack. I bought the two pack. So um, I, I'm going to try it first. I'm not as yep. You know, well, and I've I've used it already because I did go to Iceland in August, and I had to use it both to go to Iceland and to come back home. Okay, great, and it worked great, right? It worked just fine. And you were able to. Um, because you have to call in to get the virtual guide, correct? Um, if you if you look at the details on the box, it will tell you download this app, and then you the app walks you through what you need to do, and it okay. establishes a web session, so you need a data connection. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, thank you for that. Um, so we have a lot of social media. I would recommend that you follow us on Facebook. If you do Instagram, you know, connect with us on Instagram. We're at Singles Travel, facebook.com slash Singles Travel International. Um, we'll be going live during the events. Uh, often. Uh, if you're traveling with, with us, then, you know, smile for the concierge, which, uh, which is um, going to be, you know, if you're if you don't want to be in any of the videos or pictures, that's something to to share right up front, uh, and we definitely will respect that. But we we love to show our members at home what we're doing. They like to see their past traveling friends, and I think it's a really important message right now for people to see that there is travel for those who are ready to do it, and that we're doing it safely. Um, and, and trying to prevent the, the most safe environment possible for everybody while we're having a good time. So go ahead and um, put us in. It's uh, facebook.com. Just search for Singles Travel International in your search bar. And you will, uh, and, then, and then like us and follow us. Emergency contact information. Um, everybody is going to... Uh, it, Let's see, you've got Vicki's number for, you know, travel day, you're still in the United States and you need some help. So call if it's during the daytime, call our office. If it's after five o'clock or before 9 a.m., Monday through Friday, then call Vicki. Um, I will already be over there. So certainly you're welcome to text me or, or um notify me at any time as well. And certainly when you arrive into France, have your phones turned on. We, we recommend that everybody check with their phone provider before you leave to make sure that you have service in France. And uh, there are opportunities for you to have internet access and the Avalon Waterways has, they both have internet access. You can buy packages. Avalon has um, some free access um, in certain areas of the vessel and on Star Clippers, you'll buy a package. I think it's 60 euros for four hours or something like that. Um, I don't think it's that much, sorry. I think it's like 20 euros for four hours. So that's, um, that's another way to link in and stay connected. And I do recommend that you get a plan and you understand what your plan is from your phone provider because you are you may have to access your internet right when you land uh, to go through customs to show some of your documentation and it could be so you wouldn't want to get stuck there and not have access they may not have um, free wi-fi in the airport so that's why we recommend that you get your phone system set up before you go so also put Vicki's number and my cell phone number in your phones. Go ahead and make us a contact, that way you have it. 
whenever you travel, those are the best emergency numbers and we're, we're happy to help at any time. And here are some particulars about the group and who's staying, et cetera. Um, we have a pre-cruise hotel, whoops, we have a pre-cruise hotel in both scenarios and for the French River Cruise, we're going to be in Marseille. And for the single selling adventure, we're in Cannes. Uh, David, I know you've got two nights. And of course, um, Marina, you've got two nights. So you guys are all set with that. Uh, we have a full schedule in both cases and both locations. I look forward to meeting you at that first point and to check you in. And just to go over a little bit of the protocols that we're practicing here at Singles Travel International, nothing too different than anything that you've already been participating with. And I'm just going down to um, that section here in the letter. And that is that in France right now, um, all internal locations are gonna require that we show our vaccine. Um, we are going to wear uh, a mask uh, while we're indoors and in vehicles. On board the ships, they're asking us to do our best to keep some distance and wear masks when we're not eating or swimming. Um, other than those times, uh, they're asking us to wear masks. We'll see how that rolls out. Uh, we are cruising some of the, some of both of these cruises are uh, among the the initial cruises for both companies so um, it'll be fun to see how it's done and it'll be important to see how it's done and to pay attention and we have a briefing with both cruise lines on that very first day so they'll be able to give us the latest news on how they would like us to behave in terms of um, keeping ourselves and our fellow passengers safe during COVID. Um, we have some, any questions about the, about COVID at all? I also I, just figured I'd make a quick observation that I, I monitored COVID rates in France recently and their numbers are coming down at a pretty good clip. So I, I'm pretty comfortable at this point. That's great. That's great news. Yes, that's um, that's something that we're all keeping our eyes on. And, um, you know, they've taken the steps of only allowing people with more constraints than they had before. So um, certainly curbing, curbing the who enters and how they enter is, um, is having an impact. And I, it sounds like almost everywhere, especially, for example, in France, you, if you're not able to go into any public place without the vaccine. I mean, you know, if you're not in favor of that, it's not probably sitting very well, but it does inspire some people that might have been on the fence around the world. So I think that that is going to make us make, make those numbers um, more favorable quicker than than they had the first time around. So we keep our fingers crossed. Um, both cruises, we have a theme night. So for the river cruise, we're, we have Taiwan on. I mean, who wouldn't want to bring a scarf to France? And I'm hoping you would grace us with a scarf wearing that night. Yeah, sharp on a guy as well as a woman. If I even been owned a scarf. <laughs> do you want me to bring one for you? <laughs> I do have a nice white dress shirt. I can bring that. Okay. For the okay. wear white night. Yes. And of course. You can get a silk scarf anywhere. <laughs> yes. And we might even get one over in France. Good one, Robbie. You know, um, it's our, with, with our, with our themes, it's always optional. Uh, we know that 75, 80% of the members participate. They have fun. Sometimes newcomers are unsure about that. But we, we it's, an, it's an optional fun thing. So the other one is wear white night. And then for the Star Clipper, we are doing the Arroyal. Let me find that one. And that 
is in honor of the Royal Clipper. Uh, we're in some places that are known, you know, for monarchy. So we thought it would be fun. Just wear something that makes you feel like a queen or a king. And for your story, I thought it would be a fun way for us to get to know each other a little bit better. And, uh, you know, just having that conversation about what it is that you're wearing and why it's special for you. So that's, uh, that's the Royal Night. And then we're also going to do a Wear White Night. That's easy for people usually. And uh, those are the two themes. Bring your t-shirts. I'm going to send, uh, well, for those of you that are on these cruises, uh, we'll, when you check in with me at the, the hospitality area at the hotel, I'll have a t-shirt for you, a KN95 mask. And uh, we, we look forward to having some uh, times together where we, you know, we wear the shirt and, um, Sometimes we have an opportunity to give away a prize. So uh, please, uh, please wear them. And we'll give you more information about that when we get on the trip. Love, um, gosh, we're going to be meeting some new people. We don't know them. Uh, some of us are a little bit nervous about meeting new people and how will it go. And I don't know if this... Sounds crazy or not, but years ago, I was a horrible joke teller. And I had a roommate who was a great joke teller. And so we got, you know, invited to parties and different things. And she was always telling the jokes. And it was great because she made me laugh and I was in on the party. But then I wasn't with Beth. And, and I, I didn't know how to tell a joke to save my life. So I just, I decided in that, in that moment, that was probably 15, 20 minutes. 25 years ago, just a one-liner. And I heard one from um, one of my colleagues and I thought, you know what? I can remember that joke. That's an easy one. I'm not going to tell you tonight because I'll save it for the cruise. So do a little Google before you go, get a, get a one-liner. And my gosh, if you're a really good joke teller, even better. So it's just a fun way to kind of break the ice sometimes and um, it's really hard to tell a joke, you know, that's not in, within everybody's uh, wheelhouse, but I think give it a try and it, it just, it's a nice icebreaker if you can make somebody else laugh. If you have any talents, let me know because if you play music or you are good at a card game, anything at all, we want to share it with the other members because we'll have some free time. And also on the Star Clipper, there's going to be a talent show. And they love to, um, you know, showcase all of the guests and crew. So they share in that show. And it's a lot of fun. We've had some really talented people and maybe some not so talented people participate. But it's really good because your fellow crewers will cheer you on. And uh, we, all, we all have a good time with that. So that is pretty much the kind of information that I wanted to cover tonight so that you have the information that you need. Um, there's some more basics here. Please read it all. We do get questions sometimes. People say, oh, I didn't know that this was not included or included. Um, these are pretty comprehensive documents. Take a look at them. In this very last section here, of course, um, as you will read when you sign up on your fit and willing commitment, that with, if, if we have to um, ask you or remind you to put the mask on uh, at any point, please you know, be kind and, and respectful to the others and do that. Uh, we have not had any trouble. We've had 13 tours this year. Um, well, 13 since COVID started last September. And um, we haven't had any trouble. Um, everybody has been very respectful of one another, but it is something that we definitely will take action um, as far as removing somebody from a tour if they um, display behavior that's not congruent with what we're looking to um, have as, as part of our experience with Singles Travel International. So um, go ahead and um, get online and get on social media. If you're not on the trip, Robbie, watch us while we're gone. And um, does anybody have any other questions? Yes, I have several. 
Okay. Yes, I think it's very important how you are flying to France. For example, I'm going through Germany, it's special requirements. I'm going 72 hours before even I'm vaccinated, I need to take the test. Without that, I cannot be in transit zone. This is one thing. Another, I want to ask if you can recommend me to buy the kit. I don't have COVID kit, or we will have the vaccination on the ship. Tammy. Yes, we are going to, Star Clipper will administer the COVID uh, test for you on the second to last day, and you'll have your results before you leave the ship. Okay, okay. Now, another question. What we can do when we will fly to the airport, we will be in uh, France. Uh, what is, uh, what company you can recommend to take the, um, the car to go to, go to the con? Uh, I checked online, it's almost $100. Here. 35 minutes trip. Sure, Marina. On the frequently asked questions, I have that page in front. Are you guys able to see that? Yep. Yes. Okay. So in the frequently asked questions, it's the three, four, five, six, the eighth question down. What are my options for transportation in con? There's a link here. It's 22 euros. Very convenient and easy. It's called the Nice Airport Express. And mm -hmm. what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to click buy a ticket. You're going to choose. Oh, you can buy the ticket in here. Yeah, oh. so you're going to go from, we're going to reverse this. Hold on one second. Um, it's line 210. And you're going to go from the Nice Airport to Cannes to the train station is where it drops you off. And it's a 15 minute walk or a four minute taxi ride once you get to Cannes. So this is 22 euros. So you put your date in here. I think you're coming in on uh -huh. September 30th, right? Yeah. So put in September 30th, you will put one way because we're going to be in Nice at the end. One passenger, add to order. And there it is, 22 euros. And you can go ahead and order that. It's in my cart. And that's, that's how you do that. Now, when you mm -hmm. leave the airport in Nice, as soon as you finish with your baggage, you walk out the door and there's a kiosk right outside just before the taxi line begins, a little kiosk and they'll sell, they'll, well, they, you're buying the ticket online. So they also sell it there at, at, the, at the gate. But you can, um, obviously I didn't put the times in. So there is a, and it, it's, um, it's every hour. So give me a second. Let me, why didn't that do a time here? Let's see, date. So, oh, I guess this is just generic. Then let's go to the timetable. Let me show that to you. So you're going to look at line 210 here. And where, here it is. Okay. So from the Nice airport, It leaves, let's see, let me change direction. So here we're going to go from the Nice airport. So you see, I changed the direction here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go from Nice to Cannes. So it's five minutes after the hour, every hour. So for example, mine comes in at two. So I'll jump on the 305, mm -hmm. make the 305. And then that gets you into, you see, in con then, the times, if you take the 305, you'll be in, in con at 350. And then you will um, take a uh, taxi ride over to, to the hotel. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Sure, sure. It's important. By the way, somebody go into... 
uh, with our trip go you me and eight other people no one from new jersey somebody going to our trip from new jersey no uh let's take a look at the who's going section you click on that and see also on every page we have the who's going <laughs> click there We have Deb from New York, Marina, New Jersey, Sam, Pennsylvania. No, nobody from New Jersey. Okay, okay. That's okay. Okay. Because last time when I went to the trip, we had several people and we flew together <laughs> to, to Europe from New Jersey. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Now you said you had to do something special to fly through Germany, because yeah. I, I, I'm also flying through Germany um, on my way. Yeah, uh, just it's a change in Frankfurt. Yes, I called I called Lufthansa, and I asked them what needs to be done. You know, because I'll be several hours. I'm going to Munich uh, when uh, before the con, and on the way back uh, it will be. I forgot Fra Frankfurt. Frankfurt. And they told me that uh, your airlines, they have special instructions what needs to be done. I called <laughs> United because it's uh, Lufthansa operated by United. Right, and right. United told me that um, anyway, um, you know, you have to open special page, uh, in, uh, you know, for United Airlines and they're giving instructions for the country which you attend in. and how I understood I need to take the test before, before I'm going, even I'm vaccinated. That's why I already put my, uh, you know, 72 hours before the flight and United providing the time, you know, it's like, for me, it's Sunday 5.30 in the evening. Sunday, yeah, all CVS, everything closed. It means that Monday morning I'm going to take the test. <laughs> Tuesday, I, I'll have the result. And Wednesday, I'm flying to, to Germany. There, there is no any other choice. That's why when you will probably maybe you booked already the flight. That I, I did, and it's through it's United. United. Yes, and check the United website. Because 72 hours before flight, you have to upload all the documentations to, to United website. Yes. This, okay, this I'll, another... verify, I'll check and see what's being required for yes. me. It's going to be the same thing. Exactly, I printed it. It's around six pages long. Each step which you are taking, you know, before you are going to France, what needs to be done step by step. Great. And that was from the United Airlines website. United, yes. yes. Okay, great. All right, well, I'm gonna stop the recording for a moment. For those of you who weren't able to make the meeting tonight, we will send this recording out and please call us if you have any other questions and we'll see you in France.